Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Max, and thank you for joining me today and today with Teacher Max. So I would like to welcome you to my program, okay, which I call TWTM or Tonight with Teacher Max. And today is a very special day because I am reuniting with one of my former students in Malayan High School of Science, okay? And he was one of my best students actually, and it's been like nine years, almost a decade since we last saw each other. Kaya, kaya naman, the live today is also a means for us to catch up, okay? So let me welcome you again to tonight with Teacher Max and thank you for joining. And please don't forget to share the link para mas marami tayong ma makakasama ngayong araw na ito, makakakwentuhan at maraming matututo dahil napakaganda ng ating topic today. Okay? And feel free to comment and we will be reading your comments and especially if you have questions, I'm very sure that our guest today will be more than willing to answer all of your questions. Okay, so I think we are ready. So let us all welcome my guest for today. Okay, here is my guest. Say hi. Hi, guys. Okay. So, Hello. Yes, yes. Okay, so my guest today is Jacob Alava, and he is my former student. He was my former student in Malayan High School of Science. How are you, Jacob? I'm good. How are you? How's everyone? Yeah. Hope everyone's staying safe and at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so napakaganda ng topic natin today, Jacob, kasi we'll be talking about quarantine fitness. Okay? Nice. And, yeah, so we have to exercise at home, gaya nga ng sabi sa ating teacher today. So today we'll learn about different ideas on how we can exercise at home and very knowledgeable yung ating guest today. Okay? But first, Okay, simulan na natin ang kwentuhan natin, di ba? Kasi tagal na rin natin hindi nakapagkita. Yeah. Siyempre, gustong malaman ng mga tao kung sino ba si Jacob Alava. Okay? So, as you can see here, ayan. <laughs> so, ito yung mga pictures namin ni Jacob. Yeah. When he was still, when we were both, okay, in Malayan High School of Science. Okay? Grabe. Anong year, anong year ka no, no naging student kita? Um, that was 2008 until 2010 so yeah, more you than were, a decade i mean a decade yeah. rather than more than yeah yeah you were yeah. third year back then right third year third year and fourth year yeah and High actually school. guys si jacob was under my advisory class okay yeah. supernova yeah so mm -hmm. talagang we build a good relationship nung student days pa lang niya okay yeah. So as you can see, anong, uh, Jacob, ano bang parang pinaka-memorable experience mo when you were in high school? Uh, um, high school kasi was, yung high school kasi namin was, natin was different. Eh. It was small. Eh. So kami yung pioneering mm -hmm. batch. For those yeah. who do not know, um, basically, nung nag-third year yung batch ko, uh, wala nang upperclassmen. So kami lang upperclassmen. Yeah. So, Magulo actually, because it was the first year of the school was operational. So, the uh, memorable moments then was talagang pasaway mo as student. There was <laughs> wala pa masyadong discipline ano dun eh, committee mm. and things like that. Because eh. it was a new school. Eh. So, um, you know, being in high school, high school is very it's a it can be a dangerous place, no? So, mm. maraming bully, maraming yeah. um. Basta na, nakakatawa, Kos, katuwaan, asaran, things like that. Normal in every school, but you know, it was different dito and co-ed siya. So kahit even the women were spared, no? So yun yung yeah. siguro memorable was that talagang yung mga students, makukulit. Yeah, kahit, and you were, nakakatawa kasi you were part of the starting years of Malayan High School of Science. Yeah. And it created its own name. Okay, so again, ayan, dumadami na yung viewers natin, Jacob. So okay. please request me to... Comment and please say your name para naman ma-shout out namin kayo, especially dito sa mga friends and subscribers din ni Jacob. <laughs> yes, feel free to comment kasi later may Q&A tayo. So I'll be yes. answering your questions pag fitness related, diet related, things like that. Yeah, and kung makikita nyo guys, mga katweetams, dun sa aking teaser and poster, eh napaka-fit, no? napaka-laki, naka-bulk ng katawan ni Jacob, may abs, ganyan. Pero if you try to look at the pictures right now, di ba? So... Ano ka ba niyan? How would you describe your your ano niyan? Your, your body? Parang ano ka ba? Payat ka ba niyan? Nung high school? I was, mm, nung high school, no? I was teased a lot for... I have wide hips and ano, ano. Mm. Uh, big legs, ganyan. So, 
parang woman's body eh. So maliit yung yeah. torso ko. Genetics namin yun eh. Yeah. So uh, at that time, I was skinny on top, pero mm-hmm. heavier on the butt. Heavier sa puwet, sa legs. So it siya balanced, no? So ayun, yun ako initially. That was my body. So medyo scrawny ako up top, pero yeah. uh, heavy sa baba. Yeah, because... Of- because of that, yun din bang para nag-motivate sa'yo to go into like bulking up? Admittedly, no? <laughs> I'm sure everyone naman, when they started, it's really, you know, to attract the opposite sex. Eh. Yun talaga yun eh. Yeah, yes, that's, yes. That's the motivation eh. Like, uh, most people I hear from right now, no? If some are watching, we all, lalo mga guys, we all, even girls, be, before the health aspect, because we're still young at that time, eh. before yeah. the health aspect, siempre priority yung to attract the opposite sex, because yeah. we're at that age, eh, nasa mga eighteen to mga fifteen to eighteen mga ganyan. Yeah. Um, siempre yun parin iniisip namin get girls things like that. So that was the initial um wanting to be fit. The reason why I wanted to be fit, no. Then eventually, yeah. as time went by, parang hindi na yun, eh, kasi once you start entering relationships, syempre stick to one ka, ganun. Depende yeah. sa tao. But like, um, uh, ako, I personally stick to one. Oh. So every time you're in a relationship, hindi mo na goal, syempre, to attract the opposite sex because you, you're yeah. already with someone. So true, true. I found na it was some form of therapy being fit. Tapos I loved it. It was just yeah, I something I really loved. And yeah, I have to agree. Mm-hmm. It's, I have it's to agree with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have to agree with you because usually talaga it's the physical aspect first being looked upon by oh, other yeah. people Definitely. Okay, to attract. And of course, wala namang masama if you become physically appealing to others, di ba? So ngayon, mm-hmm. it's been a long time, di ba? So actually, I, uh, the last time that we talked was actually nine years ago. So wow. marami na akong hindi alam sa'yo. At syempre, ang mga, marami akong gustong malaman sa'yo tulad ng ating mga viewers ngayon. So the question is, right after high school... What really happened to Jacob Alaba? Ayan. So I have here some pictures. Now maybe can you share with us what really happened to you? Ano yung naging ano mo? Naging journey to, journey mo towards being a fitness enthusiast. So, sige, um, share ko a bit, no? Yeah. Um, before I actually got into the fitness, th- the fitness, you know, like passionate about it and all. Na college mo na ako, and college hindi yeah. ho ganyan. College mm-hmm. was another four years post. Ano, diba? Post um, high school. So yes. that was a different, entirely different stage. So I used to love to party and drink a lot. Crazy. Oh. So, ako dito si, si Kenneth. Shout out Kenneth. Yun, partner ko lagi yun pag kami. Yeah. Like that. So <laughs> ayun, that was the lifestyle prior to the fitness prior to the fitness lifestyle. Kasi, you know, um, college was all about that fun. As I've mentioned nga, diba? Yung kanina yung attracting the opposite sex. So, it was all about that. Puro good time. Puro fun. Yes, yes. Well, nag-aaral naman ako, no? But like, that was the <laughs> college highlight. Was partying. Yeah. And- where, where did you study college? And what course did you take? I went to... I took... I, nag, nagtapos ako sa Ateneo, no? Um, yeah. I was initially in a pre-med course. I was planning mm-hmm. on taking up med. Then I shifted out to... I was from life side to interdisciplinary studies. So, maganda kahit at some point, you know, I was studying chemistry and biochem, mm-hmm. may biochem kami, may biology kami, things that kind of, are kind of related, actually very much related still to, you know, nutrition and dieting, training, yeah. things like that. Mm-hmm. And that prepared you, at least may background ka, no? As you started yes, your fitness yes. journey. Parang yeah. at that time kasi, hindi mo pa siya ma-absorb eh. Until later on, when you know, when you're passionate about something, you kind of know what to, parang, what you want to pursue. Tapos it yeah. goes back to that eh. Ah, parang, inaral ko to nung college eh. I didn't pay attention at the time. Pero, you know, it, it, bumabalik siya eh. Yeah. Jacob, Someone, before you continue, before you continue, let us just read one comment here. Uh, this is Miss Marielle at Trejeno. Hi, Teacher Max and Jacob. It's great to see you wow. virtually and hear your voices again. Do you remember her? Yeah, she was our math teacher. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Hi, Mom Marielle. Hi, Miss Marielle. Thank you for joining Hi. again to our our view, other viewers. Again, 
please don't please comment para naman ma shout out namin kaya then later please don't forget to ask questions dahil Jacob is very much willing to answer ayan sige let's continue as what yeah sorry so, kung kasawae nung high school <laughs> <laughs> okay so Jacob at what point did you realize and and decided na parang ah uh, I have to I'm serious about this uh, getting fit being healthy. Um when I started ano uh, reading about certain diets and things like that I wanted to take my physique to the next level mga mm-hmm. ano yun, 2014 2015 so I tried different approaches yun napapansin ko na na regular na ako nag gym consistent na ako and yeah. parang I found myself wanting to diet and wanting to train, wanting to go to the gym. So, yun mm. palang parang science na yun eh. Initial science eh. It mm. wasn't normal kasi, um, you know, people usually view gym as, okay, kailangan ako magpapayat, ganyan. But yeah, yeah. it was, it was a comforting place na, you know, I just love doing it eh. And I know mm. a lot of people who are, let's say, even some of my subscribers probably who are watching now, understand that it's a, it's a, Masa- may endorphins involved, yeah. good mood, and things like that. So, ayun. And what was your initial goal lang? Like, I mean, do you really wanted to have, like, this big muscles, this abs, or just, you no, know, eh. this, what was your initial goals lang going to the I, gym? I just wanted to be, you know, fit na full set of abs, things like that, ripped, mm-hmm. no, nothing too big. But then, yeah. if actually, once nakuha ko na yun, Go, certain goals started to uh, basically umaano yung other goals yeah. nagkakaroon ng other goals like pushing past goal number one magkakaroon ka ng bagong goals and you want mm-hmm. to pursue further knowledge so mm-hmm. parang for example you just want to look this this way then eventually yung pag makuha mo na oh, okay what's next parang you know being human yeah. there's always that aspect in life na you always want to improve it eh. So it started with that. Then when I got better and better, then people started to notice, no, na parang oh yeah, and then sayo, things like that. Parang you know, in aral ko lang siya, and that's when I found out na okay, wow. So I really love this stuff. Yeah, so, and did you? Because just sa mga pictures mo makikita natin. Did you join like contests or competitions related to like fitness? Oh, I did. I did join Gold's Body Con. That was mga twenty. Mm-hmm. That was early 2018. So mm-hmm. uh, it's it's more of a pageant type. Eh. It's not ah, pageant type. for those mm-hmm. subscribers of mine who are into the bodybuilding stuff. It's it's more of a pageant than a bodybuilding show. Because ang bodybuilding show you'll be judged based off of your physique. Eh. Ito mm-hmm. you'll be judged based off of your physique, your face, your look, what you can offer as a marketable nice. person mm-hmm. for the brand, basically. Yeah, and how how was it? How was the how was the competition? Did you win? I was a runner up kasi syempre being up against guys who were may ibang guys kasi at the time who were very popular na eh. Yeah, diba? and so, yeah, more experienced than siguro. One foot in, medyo pa, sure na panalo na sila, things like that. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. know, you enter these competitions thinking na thinking na ano um you, you know, it's more for experience and you have to expect na lalo na here sa Philippines, there will be some sort of you know, my favoritism and my favorite yeah, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. Lang. Okay, and you know what? I'm very happy because I've seen you like share your knowledge with everyone of these things that you. I've seen you posted. I've I have seen your post rather so Instagram about people that you have helped. Diba? Yeah, so are you yeah. do are you doing like co- coaching as well? Yeah, I'm actually. Uh, I, I I don't. I don't actually say it a lot now, but I have a I have a nutrition diploma from a, from an online mm. course. So um, that plus experience plus everything that I've uh, regularly studied this, these things. Yun tinutulong ko sa mga clients ko. So um, a lot of them follow and get the results. I mean. Siyempre, there will be people who won't get the results because you know you have to suffer yeah. a lot but you know um i do help a lot i'm an online coach and ayun, that's what i do now full time plus um some content creation on the side yeah okay since you've mentioned about content creation so actually guys as you can see on your screen 
here is the YouTube channel of Jacob. Okay, so as you can see, no, sa kanyang cover, it's about fitness and lifestyle. So, uh, what mo, ah, uh, wait lang, ano, Jacob, bago tayo mag-continue pala. So, let's just make a short shout out sa sister ko. Hi, sister. Hi, she's present now. Ayan, and Hello. Diane, Diane Kapule, she's a, she's a, she's a batchmate, right? Yes, she's a batchmate. And we work together. Yeah, not yeah. saying much. We work together. And yeah, I'm not sure if she, you know, wants me to go into detail, no. But uh, we work together, and she's she's been very, very, um, she's easy to work with, basically. Oh. And sumusunod talaga. Ibang nice. kasi, wala ako masabi. Yeah. We were really close back in high school, but you know, I'm I was think I'm actually still thankful that she got to be my client. No? Yes, yeah. Hi, Diane. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Diane. Diane. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, so Jacob, what then motivated you to start this YouTube channel? Because diba, you said you've got this course, uh, the certifications already, and then you started learning more about it. And then what really this what made you decide now? I let me come up with a YouTube channel. Hmm. Um being on IG kasi, uh mm-hmm. it's kind of like a posting pictures, eh, which admittedly for me, you know, you cannot mm-hmm. express yourself as much. Because mm-hmm. it's a it's a social media platform where you just browse your phone, see yeah. pictures, oh, so get yeah. like, comment. You don't even a lot of people use it so fast they don't even read comments and things like that. True, and your true. descriptions, even if you write it. Really so, uh, my motivation to start YouTube was it, it's a better expression of the self, eh? and you get to yeah. explain things in more detail. Eh? Yes, yeah. Oh, one thing is that when I was starting with my journey, there was no one na, who was giving me good advice here in the country. No? Yes. So I had to resort yeah. to studies. Um, yung mga other people abroad, no, and mm-hmm. I had to buy ebooks from people who were who were publishing things abroad, things like that. And ayun, that was my motivation na for someone to you know tell you the truth, tell you what's yeah. the difficult reality when it comes to these diet, nutrition, things like that. So, yun yung goal ko, is to better express and to spread the word, things like that. Parang yeah, yun. very true. And just like what I told you off-air, diba? Sabi ko nga na parang there are very few Filipino YouTubers who talk about fitness and lifestyle. So, sobrang very timely ng ginawa mong YouTube channel. And congratulations because your channel is really growing. Right now, you have more than 3,000 subscribers. So, Thank sa you. ating mga viewers, if you have not subscribed to Jacob's subscribe. channel, please don't forget to subscribe. At marami kayo matututunan. And later, we'll be showing you one of his videos. Okay, so napakaganda pala ng fitness journey, Jacob. And it only shows his very much credible sa ating pag-uusapan today, which is about uh, what we call this quarantine fitness, especially that we are at the time of quarantine. So let's now talk about, okay, Jacob, ito very interesting na to kasi medyo nasa meet na tayo ng discussion natin. So let's sure. talk about... Healthy eating. Ayan. Okay. So what do we really mean by eating healthy? Like, what kind of food do we sh- should we eat in order for us to say that we are eating healthy? So one thing I want to address initially, no, mm. is that um, people are people usually tend to associate health and body composition. So but mm-hmm. what, I, what I mean by body composition is yung body fat mo, uh your bone your muscle everything so if you just want to lose weight you can but may mga means na healthy may mga means na hindi so they're completely mm-hmm. separate health okay. and body composition are completely separate so that's what i want people to understand no it's mm-hmm. that na hindi porket healthy ka papayat ka things like that or yes. hindi porket pumapayat ka healthy yung ginagawa mo mm-hmm. so when it comes to healthy eating uh, i would say na Pagaling nutritious sources yung food mo. So your typical lean meat, vegetables, mm-hmm. um, carbohydrates, yung mga fruits, veggies, things like that. They all have vitamins. I don't want to bore you with all the details of vitamins yeah. and all. Mm-hmm. But, you know, getting, yung basically sinasabi sa yung kainin mo to be healthy, the typical vegetables, yan. Yan yung mga, that's what's going to make you healthy. But that's not necessarily going to be making you thin or hindi yan yung mga exactly nakakapayat. There are healthy yeah. food na hindi nakakapayat, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's say for example, um, I remember one time I tried to uh, stop eating rice and then mm. I I shifted to bread. 
And then sabi na, I have some people and uh, friends uh, tell me na parang it's better pa nga ang rice kesa sa bread eh. So with that simple uh, uh, example, anong, an, an, what are your thoughts about this? Is it really better to eat rice more than bread or? Um, my favorite answer to questions like that is ano, yeah. eh, it depends. Eh. So yeah. by it depends meaning um, when you want to reduce your mm -hmm. weight, or your fat, all about the quantity. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what people fail to recognize is that everything you eat may, uh, may, ano yan, eh? may corresponding calories. Yan, eh? Yeah. Okay. And each person has like a, isipin mo may allowance ka, calorie allowance. For example, like, oh, sir, uh, let's use me as an example. Yeah. Let's say for me to maintain my weight, I will need 2,000 calories. It's mm -hmm. all about the calories. Now, if I eat let's say 2,500 calories all from bread, I'm going to gain weight. Mm -hmm. But if I eat 1,500 all from rice, then I'm going to lose weight. So yeah. that's how it works. Eh? And each of each food item has their own corresponding calorie slash macronutrient content. No? Mm -hmm. So if you decide to, okay, I'm going to cut rice, but at the same time, pinapalit mo naman ng, with other things na high fat or let's say higher carb na hindi mo pala alam, mm -hmm. eh di baliwala lang yung effort mo. Something yeah. like that. So, so everything really is in moderation as well, di ba? Yeah. I, I'm a big believer in that. Mm -hmm. So but let's say for example, uh, do, you, do you also promote like the yung mga nauuso ngayon na intermittent fasting, yung mga ganyan? Yeah, well, does, does it I, really help? Ang, everything, kasi ano eh, uh, when it the the formula for everyone is that you have to be if, if let's say weight loss to, ah, the yeah. formula for everyone is simply to be at a caloric deficit. So regardless of what you do, magkito ka or mm. um, intermittent fasting, paleo, all these diets, as long as you're in a deficit, a weekly deficit. Mm -hmm. And you can sustain that in a, in the long run, then you are gonna lose weight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, ang ma maganda sa since you mentioned intermittent fasting, what's so nice about intermittent fasting is that it sets you a window. Eh. So, mm -hmm. when you set a window, ibig sabihin mas malilimit yung kain mo. Sabihin natin, mm -hmm. oh, sir, max ikaw, hanggang twelve to nine ka lang kakain. Eh, di ibig sabihin you skip breakfast automatic yun. Yeah. Diba? So, mm -hmm. in reality, people think that it's just this magical tool, but it just helps you be at a deficit more. Mm -hmm. Since your window is so small, yung kain window mo 12 to 9, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. I see. Okay, so since you've mentioned about already about losing weight, what are like very specific tips you could uh, give our viewers? Ayan. So, how to lose weight? So, besides healthy eating, ano pa yung ibang ways for people to lose weight? Um, one super underrated tip is, although naka quarantine tayo, medyo mahirap, is to move more. When mm. I say move more, kasi yung calorie expenditure mo, it comes from movement. Eh. So, when you walk a lot, when you exercise, when you, let's say, when you do cardio, things like that, umaakit yung burn mo eh. nag accumulate yun eh. Mm -hmm. So, just move more. Um, I know it's hard kasi we're in lockdown, no? That's the struggle right now. Kasi even I personally struggle. Kasi who wants to just keep moving inside the house, diba? It's pretty boring. Yeah. <laughs> so, but once this is all over and once you do have, um, you know, ample space to move around, uh, move around, just simply move around. That's super underrated. Walk more. If let's mm -hmm. say you drive, Park further, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Yung mga ganyan, pag daily mo ginagawa, it makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Even the fact that yung sinabi ko, elevator, let's say, if let's say third floor lang yung office mo, yeah. tapos in elevator mo pa, kaya mo ng stairs yun eh. Mm -hmm. That's an additional, let's say, 100 to 200, sabihin natin, uh, calories per day mo, up and down, kung multiple times, that you wouldn't get if you took the elevator. So, Simple tip, but increase movement. True, true. Is there really a need to go to the gym? It depends. Eh? Um, it depends on the physique that you want to achieve. It depends on the look that you want to achieve. If you just want to lose weight, di naman, naming factors. Mm -hmm. But if you want to build the muscle, 
look like a model, look like a bodybuilder, kailangan mo mag resistance train, aka lift weights. Not necessarily gym, but as long as you lift and have resistance, na mm-hmm. so there's resistance, then yeah, you don't need to go to the gym. Mm, I see. Okay. So, uh, what they call this? Diba merong, uh, can you, ano lang, can you remind me again in our viewers? Kasi diba meron tayo tinatawag na body mass index? Diba? So, can you again orient yeah. us? What, what does it really do? Kasi diba parang pagka you lose weight, you also look at it? Tama ba? Yung BMI or yeah, BMR yeah. is your base metabolic rate. Yeah. No? So, what it's saying is it's what your body burns at rest. So, because since you're alive, no, your organs are moving, your heart is everything. Body is moving internally. Mm. It does it for you. So that act of being alive burns. So in your body, now it depends on um, your status, height, your weight, your gender, age. Mm. Iba iba tayo ng BMR. Yeah. So ayun. So BMR usually yung baseline to get your calorie maintenance, things like that. Mm-hmm. I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for those tips. Okay, mga katwitams, if you have questions that you want Jacob to answer, please uh, comment it. Okay? Kahit, kahit mamaya pa yung Q&A part natin, we will entertain such questions, di ba? Yeah. Okay. So since you've I'll mentioned already... Yeah, since you've mentioned already that it's not necessary naman, diba, to go to the gym, and lalo na ngayon na extended ang quarantine, although it's modified ECQ na, diba? so there are still people who would be staying at home. Let's talk about some home workout ideas. Diba? Kasi syempre, diba, hindi naman lahat may pera din para pumunta sa gym. Sure. Hindi naman lahat pwedeng uh, may pera para bumili ng mga equipment. Diba? So let's talk about some home workout ideas. Okay, so, and while you're talking about it, I'll be showing your video. Okay. Teka, wait lang. Isi-set up lang natin. Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. Okay, here you are. Ayan, okay. So, so na, right now, we're going to show you, okay, a video made by Jacob, posted by Jacob, about home workout ideas. So, Ayan, stay fit and enjoy, diba? So, ayan. So, please talk about this home workout ideas. So, guys, ito yung recommendations ko lang for people who do not have equipment or barely have equipment. The worst thing you can do is to not do anything. Kasi, diba? I mean, times are yeah. hard, but you get power through things like this. Eh. Um, these are, ito push-ups, basically. These exercises are good to you know build muscle or maintain muscle it's hard yeah. it's hard to build muscle given the circumstances but depend is a starting point mo eh. mm-hmm. now uh, these are just the things that you can do with minimal to no equipment demo this is just a chair for yeah. example mm-hmm. um or it's just a it's a water basically but what what water is like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so yeah so you can add resistance. You can lift a lot of things. Eh. Kahit you, I've still lift couches. Because yeah. once you do that, that stimulates muscle growth. Eh. Now we're working muscles more. And the more muscle you have in your frame, the more you can eat. Mm-hmm. Tapos, the more you can maintain the leanness, and the better you look. The healthier you'll be. Because yeah. having a strong foundation with muscles is... It supports bone, it supports everything. So it can help a lot, kahit sa tanda mo. So um, I've seen a lot of people who, who were lifters when they were younger, now they're older now. And that's what's helped them with their, uh, you know, like avoiding osteoporosis, things like that. It can help, yeah. you know. But, but maraming mm-hmm. factors. Eh. I right. see. Ayan, okay. Meron tayong magandang comment dito from John Philip Ortega. It says, great to see Jacob having... Proven himself in the oh. fitness industry. He always gives credit to other more renowned fitness trainers and never claims that it's all from him and solely his. So, yeah, now make a shout out to your, I think this is your friend. JP, I think, yes, I see him on Instagram. Hi, JP. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate the kind words. You know, like, I, sa akin naman, I just, you know, like, uh, 
I look for the good information, then I just share it. And I don't yes. claim that it's mine. <laughs> Kasi, yes. syempre, I, I do not find, I do, I'm not the founder of these things. I just find them para mas madaling i-break down the people. Kasi it can get very technical, eh, lalo na sa mga, yung mga journal NCBI articles that I like to read. People don't have time to read that. So I just yeah. take the gist and break it down in a video or Instagram post, things like that. I see. Okay, we have some questions here, Jacob. And thank you for your home workout ideas. And guys, if you really want uh, to know more about it, you just have to visit Jacob's channel because he has been posting videos about it. Okay, he has even this uh, a day in the life of a fitness YouTuber during quarantine, de right? So you will learn a lot from it. Okay, and ayan. So ito, merong question dito. Sabi niya, sabi ni Ken Yao, what is your current BF? And how to maintain body after, fat. yeah, and af- how to maintain after achieving. Uh, body fat percentage, because BF is body fat, no? So mm. I'm sure may BF percent, yeah. Body fat percentage is um, it's hard to measure. There are ways that you can, but you can never really get an accurate reading. Because when you look at the human body as a whole, there are so many parts where you can store fat, eh, right? Mm. There are some mm. people who store it in their bellies. Some yeah. on their faces, some on their legs. So it's really difficult to get a measure. So for example, um, yung mga nakikita mong, let's say, low body fat, mga 6, 7, yung kita na lahat ng abs, hindi mo alam, baka may fat pa yun sa likod ng legs nila. Di ba? Because mm-hmm. you won't see it. Eh. So it's really hard to get a measure. But currently, I would say I'm around 12, 13. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's just throwing a number out there, no? But, and how do I maintain it? Um, the better you look straight up, the harder it is to maintain. So, mm-hmm. kung extreme talaga yung gusto mo, like you see, sa, I know sa ibang bansa, sobrang extreme nila mag eh, maintain eh. Uh, if you really want that sh- shredded, ripped physique, you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot. When I say sacrifice, kasama yan sa, sa diet mo, your normal food, yeah. Hindi ka wedding eating whatever your family is eating. That's why it's hard here in the Philippines because we're yeah. very family. <laughs> true, true. What your mom cooks or your dad cooks, hindi mo pa yung kainin yun. Basta basta. Uh, you have to prepare in advance your lean meat because having such a low body fat percentage, you can only afford to have so much. Ano eh? Uh, mm-hmm. You can only have so much calories. Eh? The lower, mm-hmm. the, the leaner you are, the smaller you become. Because pag wala ka ng fat sa katawan, you're, you're yeah. going to be a smaller person. Eh. Uh, mm-hmm. Aba yung calories na kailangan mo. Think something like that. So it's really difficult to maintain. But that's my tip. If you want to maintain a, uh, a lean or shredded physique, yung mahirap, then you have to sacrifice. Now, the level yeah. of sacrifice will depend on the look that you want to achieve. Kung gusto mo may abs lang na kahit hindi masyadong rip, uh, basta like looking healthy, that's easier than if you want yung extreme. So, ayan. Oh, ayan. So, thank you, thank you, Ken Yao, for your question. Ako, Jacob, meron lang akong question. Sure. Siguro for, uh, for you, how how long did it take you to have abs? Kasi syempre, di ba, yung isa uh, yun, ang gusto ng mga lalaki. Eh, ng gusto ng mga, even though, mm-hmm. even the girls actually, di ba, parang mm-hmm. isa ni sayang ano eh. Gano ba yun? I mean, it depends sa tao, di ba? Pero for your example, sa'yo, parang, Gano katagal it, it took for you to really get the kind of abs na gusto mo? Okay. So, before that, no, I wanted to just say na it varies per person, yung starting yeah. point mo. So, everyone has abs. There's just mm-hmm. layer na co- layer of fat covering it. The thicker the layer, syempre hindi mo makikita yung abs. Diba? But yeah. everyone, even if you don't <laughs> train your abs, meron ka yeah. It's just mm-hmm. part of your body. So your goal now is to reveal it. And how do you reveal it? Is to just burn the fat away. Now, yun yung tricky part. Because again, as I mentioned, there, there can be fat on your face, fat on your back, fat on your legs. Yeah. Hindi ka pwedeng pumili kung saan ka magtatanggal ng fat. You just have to keep dieting down until kumukuha siya. That's what people, a lot of people don't know. Eh. So, mm-hmm. uh, kanyari, nagda-diet ka, effective yung diet mo, and you're just looking at the mirror, parang, ah, wala pa akong abs, wala pa akong abs, hindi so, ka ginaganahan, pero, bumababa yung bang mo, hindi mo alam sa likod mo, bumababa yung body fat mo, or yung legs mo, <laughs> but you lean out, but you're just so focused on the abs, eh. 
So, depends on your starting point. If you're fairly lean, pag lumalabas na yung abs mo, konti, um, that's still gonna take you months. Eh. It's, eh, I'm not yeah. gonna lie to you. Kung gusto mo talaga siyang makita, kailangan mo talaga tunawin yung fat. Now, if you're starting yeah, months, from, yeah, it's something. Yes. I have clients who are, yeah. um, let's say, on the more obese side. I've I've helped one get yeah. to a lower body fat. Siyempre, yung abs niya, hindi pa ganun kaganda. But it'll take, it took him mga nine months to a year. Depends talaga. If you're doing it naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Kasi maraming yes, banned yes, yes, yes. stuff out there. Eh. True, so, true, true. Yeah. so it really natural, takes, ano, no? Yeah. Yeah, it really Matagal. takes commitment. Matagal. Yeah. Yung, yung okay, so meron pa to just make the process easier. I so see, yeah. it's going to be a difficult process, pero that kailangan mo lang dalian slowly. Yeah, we have more questions here, Jacob. Okay. <laughs> Friends, uh, being imagined. Yeah. <laughs> so next, this one. Sabi na, uh, I need to strengthen my body, especially my lower back, because I am carrying my almost ten kilogram baby a lot of times. What exercise routine do you recommend? Hmm. So, um, that's. Not a lot of information for me to deal with. No, maganda sana yeah. kung if I know the background, the history, bahami past injuries, things like that. Ah, yes, but, yes. Um, top of my mind, mga back exercises that that are that requires lower back. Uh, some deadlifts. Na kahit body weight, just get mm-hmm. familiar with the movement. Kahit very light, kasi or strengthening. Na puputol ba? Ayun. Uh, yeah, strengthen yeah. the core. Um, mm-hmm. stronger. Um, ab workouts will help because your core is the entire hindi lang siya abs eh, when you say core it's the entire trunk mm-hmm. no? so a stronger core will basically will basically support your back so things like deadlifts but one thing you call, they call it good mornings no? nothing too heavy um, yes. no weight pa nga if possible because eh. mm-hmm. uh, these, these are just ito ano, ano to, opinion ko lang to, ah. there's not enough information for me to give no but yun lang yun lang just yeah. try those that is yeah just yeah. in the back and the core yeah thank you thank you and then another question here this one hi teacher max and jacob i enrolled in a gym and it is an on and off journey okay kasi uh, this is actually my best friend jacob he's a nurse uh, sa qatar okay oh. so he's the frontliner and so, ang tanong niya is, do you really need to hire? Ito nga, mga issue din to eh, no, sa mga nag-gym. Kailangan ba talagang may PT or coach? And sabi niya, he tried it, pero yun nga, very costly. It is effective. Yun nga lang, medyo sustain, hindi rin siya ganun ka-sustainable. So, what's your mm-hmm. advice, usually? Kailangan ba talaga? Advice ko, hmm, it depends eh. Kasi there are knowledgeable PTs. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I've met some in my life that are very knowledgeable. But, Sad, sad truth kasi maraming hindi eh. Lalo na here, no? Sa Philippines. Mm-hmm. They're, they're usually the, they, they, we call them the bro coaches eh. Yung advice mm-hmm. sobrang pang bro. Like, oh, chicken ka lang, <laughs> rice ka lang. Yeah, yeah. Things like that. So, um, if you are struggling with form, PTs are usually good with that eh. So, if mm-hmm. you're struggling with form, I suggest getting one. But you do not need one eh. Uh, as long as you... As long as you get the form correct and alam mo na kung paano, then I don't think di mo, as, kailangan mo na siya. And a lot of them, kasi being a PT, no, they're j- just supposed to help you with the weights and the training and ganyan. Mm-hmm. They usually don't give the best, you know, nutrition, diet advice unless mm-hmm. they're knowledgeable with that, no? So, mm-hmm. marami kasing coaches will tell you, oh, huwag ka lang mag-rise, papayat ka. Oh, para- yeah. <laughs> so for a start, no, for a start, it's good na to get coach or uh, to get a coach or PT, no. But then in the long run, diba? Once you get what's just like what you've said, once you get the right form and then the right yeah, stuff, di no, siya mo na siya it's also dependent if magaling talaga and if you enjoy it, it pushes you, it motivates yeah. you to go. Kasi yun nga, magaling and magandang relationship niyo, then why not? Yeah. So there. There are only a few I recommend, lala na here. But you know, if you find a good one, yeah, why not? If you have the budget for it, also, because yes. syempre these are all things that you do not need but can greatly help. Yes, yeah. Okay, alam mo na besa. So mm-hmm. 
Ayan. Okay, eto. Meron, keep, keep the questions coming, okay? So, we have Rolly. Sabi na, hey, Higan, what do you recommend for people who are starting out and struggling with the mindset of commitment to fitness? Ang napakaganda ng question ni Mr. Galing. Rolly. Ayan, Shout okay. out, Beto. Ayan. Ayan. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga naman, ano ang ano mo, ano, marami nagsistruggle dyan, no? So, madami sa mga tao na sa umpisa lang. Katulad ko yan. <laughs> so, what what did you recommend to this people? Okay, vegan. Uh, <laughs> honestly, mahirap kasi ano eh. I'm gonna tell you the truth, no? Mahirap siya. Tapos, it's really a mental game, eh. So, you just have to keep going. You have to keep doing it, eh. Now, um, the, with the mindset, you have to find a why. Eh. Bakit mo ba ito ginagawa? No? So, uh, like for my case, because I love this stuff. Eh. So it's a passion of mine. I love I love ano, training. So, you know, that's what keeps me going. Pero admittedly, may mga days na I feel like, crap, ayoko. <laughs> it's normal. But to get the mindset, you just have to consistently do it because it takes 30 days to build a habit yeah mm-hmm. so don't miss pagpahinga ka, but you know just continue with the gym and uh maganda sana if um you know you take visual what do you call it? references so for example kuha ka picture timbang ka you get to see results Mm-hmm. Or yung subtle changes. Because once you start lifting weights when you're new, you will see results definitely. Because it's new for, for you. Eh. Mm-hmm. Kung di ka mm-hmm. So yun palang that should motivate you na. Eh. So yun yung tips ko. Record your progress. Because you never know one day baka maging Superman ka, diba? And you yeah. you'll look back <laughs> on that day and you'll be like, damn. Diba? I, uh, ako, uh, question. Like, how many times should you really ba, should you really like work out ba or really go to the gym? Do you, go, do you have to go there every day? No, depends. Eh. Uh, mm. Depends on your goal. Usually, ano, usually, priority mo recovery. So if binabanatan mo sarili mo too much, hindi ka nakaka-recover, hindi na rin mm. maganda yun. Eh. That's gonna be detrimental to your goals. Mm-hmm. So for example, kung, kung nagpapapayat ka, tapos nasa-stress ka na sa ginagawa mo, puro training, it tapos it can affect your sleep things like that mm-hmm. ibig sabihin training isn't help isn't going to help you baka mm-hmm. it's going to be ano pa it's going to affect your health even more so mm-hmm. importance is recovery but i recommend minimum 3 to 5 3, uh, three to 5 usually uh, usually just get enough but kaya if kaya mo every day if hindi naman sobrang hirap then go ahead depends on the intensity din eh baka naman sinasabi yeah. ng mga tao uh, every day ako nag-workout, pero ginagawa nila, okay, bicep curls ako one day, tapos abs yeah, connect. Yeah. Yeah. Tapos, you know, things like that. Parang very low impact lang. Oh, lang, oh, lang. Ganun yeah. lang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, it shows now that rest day is very important. Pero oh. isang term isang term din na laging nadidinig natin is yung cheat day. So, hmm. ano ba talagang ibig sabihin ng cheat day? Kasi minsan nang niisip lang ng tao, pag sabi cheat day, hindi kakain lang ako ng kakain. Does it really mean eating lang ba? Pero what do we really mean by sinabi mong cheat day ko ngayon? Eh? Hmm, nahirap sa cheat day eh. Ako, I never recommend cheat days to my clients. Yeah. Eh. It's usually a meal. Cheat meal. Mm-hmm. Cheat Kasi, meal, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll let you in on a little secret now. We lose weight on a weekly basis. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan yung Monday hanggang, fr- hanggang Sunday mo maayos. Meaning, yung calories mo pasok. If you mess up a single day, na sobra-sobra talaga, then baka masira yung entire week mo. If it makes sense. No? Yes, so it's yes. really a process. So I suggest uh, what I recommend with my clients also. If you're trying to lose weight, ha, syempre, mindset mo, naka-diet ka na, di ba? So yes. it's already gonna be hard. no? So once in a while, incorporate ka one meal, ganyan, na gusto mo talaga, just to mm-hmm. reset, just to reset the focus. It, hindi ka naman na-deprive sobra-sobra. Yeah. It, it's also like, kasi cheat day, ibig sabihin mag-binge ka. That's also not healthy eh. True, true, true. Yeah, mm. tama, tama. I agree, I agree. Ayan. Okay, next, ito, magandang question to. Sabi ni Cedric, ayan, do you Cedric recommend Ross. any supplements and what supplement brand do you recommend? Okay, so, hindi uh, bias, but, you know, just to let it out there, no, I'm sponsored by Athlean, local sila. But I use their products. They're very good. They're cheap compared to 
<laughs> Kuya Jacob eh. Compared to the, <laughs> ano, compared to most international brands. Um, what supplement brands, I recommend, well, Athlean Malamang, I recommend it. And uh, honestly, anything that you can confirm na legit, pwede mm-hmm. na. Kasi, mm-hmm. and depende rin na yun sa budget mo eh. Yeah, kasi uh, for those Jacob lang na talagang hindi masyado alam ang, wala masyadong alam about going to the gym, going about these fitness things. What is a supplement? Briefly, can you tell them what is a supplement? What does it do? Ito ba yung mga whey protein na narinig mm-hmm. natin? Yes? Okay. So, ang ano kasi, ang supplement kasi, it's supposed to aid your nutrition yeah. and training, no? So, it's not uh, kaya nga supplement, it's supposed yes. to supplement your training. It's not the priority. It's not, mm-hmm. a lot of people, marami yung clients na nakausap ko, uh, they spend a lot, no? Yun yung focus nila primarily on buying stuff like this. Yes. Supplement. And that's mahirap kasi it, it's marketed so well, eh. Diba? So di mo alam mm-hmm. what to buy, what to look for. But like, sige, since you're all in the live now, there are only a few supplements that I recommend. Tatlo lang. That's your creatine, your whey protein, and caffeine. So caffeine can be coffee, just to give you extra energy. Hindi mo kailangan mag, uh, you know, pre-workout, ganyan. But it can help. But yung tatlo lang yung pinakakailangan mo. Multivitamin, yes. But yeah, ano yun, pwede na yun. Mga ganun. I see. Ayan. Thank you. Ito, napakaganda. Next question. Hi, Philip. Philip Hi. is one of my <laughs> students. Hi, Philip. I miss you. Okay, he's our Malayan idol. He's our Mr. Malayan. So, batchmate po siya ni Jacob. Ayan. So sabi ni Philip, I have a home gym and I don't really have anyone to spot me. Ayan. So do you recommend doing the maximum weight I can do or just focusing on more reps? And we love you, Jake's Allah. Allah. Wala. Miss you both. So hi, Philip. Um, kaka-birthday lang yan recent. So a week ago. Happy though. birthday, Philip. Philip. Shout out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Yeah. Lagi yung nag-support site sa YouTube ko eh. Kahit mga two weeks later nag mo so, <laughs> Yes. So, um, yes. Mahi- maganda sana kung ano eh. Uh, as much as you can. Uh, more advanced, pero there there's this thing called RPE. So, yun yung mm-hmm. rate ng weight mo. Yun yung measure of your strength and intensity. Anyway, uh, maganda sana if you can do, let's say, for example, you're doing a chest press, ba? You're doing three sets of 10. Yung three sets of 10 mo, challenged ka na. And mm. after the 10, you can do two more. Mga ganun, parang RP8, something like that. Yun eh. So, um, challenge yourself. Dapat hindi siya sobrang gali and hindi siya sobrang hirap na to the point na failure na. No? So... Mm. Ayun, um, I recommend that you can do the maximum weight that you can safely na naakit mo yung weight, nabababa mo yung weight. And I'm sure David can spot you, tawagin mo lang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah. Yeah, just yun talaga. If you're a natural lifter, priority mo talaga as heavy as you can. Kasi uh, the, the, yung, yung natural muscle, mas na-engage dun eh. Talagang that's the way to go heavy. Yeah. Thank you, Philip. We miss you. Okay, next. Okay, oh, thank you for your questions. And how to do a diet break without gaining too much weight? Diet break? Sobra advanced nito. So, yeah. <laughs> What's a diet basically, break? If you've been dieting for so long, mm-hmm. magkakaroon ka ng uh, plateau. Mm-hmm. Mag- even yeah. though you're doing things right, there's a, there's an ano eh. Stru- very structured kasi tong weight loss slash fat loss topic na to eh. So a diet break basically means after a prolonged period of time in a deficit, calorie deficit ka eh. So for example, three, mga two months, three months ka. Um, when you diet break, yung recommendation is to increase your calories by, um, most people do 500, but for me, mm-hmm. it's, it's, ano eh, kailangan talaga someone to monitor that. But, Usually, mga plus 200, plus 500 calories increase a week, and that should put you back at main, your current maintenance. Tapos, uh, from there, uh, a week or two diet break, then balik ka, subtract mo ulit yung 500 na yun. 
So something mm. like that. So but yeah. this is very advanced, ah. Huh? Um, yeah. Pag ano na to usually eh. Pag mga, I do that for some of my clients na sobrang tagal na nagda-diet and mag-plateau. Mm, so, I know, see. It resets your, ano eh. Basta, something like that. Yeah, so thank you, Ken, for your question. Ito, napakagandang question eh. Very specific. Sir Jacob, hiling ko po kasi magluto ng chicken breast. But as far as possible, iniwasan ko yung luto na kailangan ng cooking oils kasi ang bigat nun sa calorie. Yeah. So okay. ano ba yung question niya? So I think, paano ba magluto or something like that? Yeah, it's maybe. Alternative. Would, yeah, alternative sa cooking oil. Ayaw nila ng cooking oil. Hmm. Um, alternative is you can oven bake or uh, air, air fry. Uso yun eh. Uso yun lately eh. So I have clients who make air fried chicken. Galing nga eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, air fried, that, that doesn't use oil. Tapos, other than that, uh, if ever gagamit ka ng oil, uh, use teaspoon. Kasi that's one-third the calories of normal oil. A tablespoon of oil is 140, mm-hmm. 120 calories. So using a teaspoon just to cook will limit the calorie intake by one-third. Ganun. Also, there are, if you can find, no, may mga spray. So sprays mm-hmm. have less calories. Although I'm not really sure about canola, because there's mga new research about it not being healthy. Mm-hmm. But zero calories. Mm-hmm. Currently, yun pangagamit ko eh, kasi <laughs> misak pa ako eh. But you know, I cook my chicken with that. So spray ko lang yung pan. Zero calories yun. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it helps with the cooking. So yun yung recommendations ko. Air fry, um, use minimal oil or um, what do you call this? Or cooking spray. May mga olive oil spray, may mga nakita ko sa Shopee. So, check it out. Yeah, okay. Ang ganda, ang ganda ng sinabi mo. Ayan, okay. Susundin ko din yung tip mo na yan. Kasi ako malakas ako mm. oil eh. Ayan, okay. Ito, sabi ng best friend ko. Sabi na, Jacob, I saw people drinking something. I'm, I'm not sure. Ka. Ano ba tong something na to? Maybe ito supplements? Before doing the workout. What do people usually drink? Mm. Is it recommended? So, Based on it, your experience? It could probably be two things eh. Uh, uh, three things actually. It could be whey protein. It could be BCAAs or it could be pre-workout. Now, ang whey protein basically could just be ang whey protein. It's very safe. Everything yung tatlong yun very safe naman yun eh. Uh, mm-hmm. Depende no. Uh, si whey protein just helps you with your overall protein intake, so it won't enhance your lifting training whatsoever. Si si ano si BCAAs. It's marketed as a recovery thing, pero honestly, hindi mo siya kailangan. It's just zero-calorie juice na masarap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if kulang ka sa meat sa diet mo, it can help, but that's it. Uh, third, si pre-workout. Pre-workout, baka pre-workout yun. Kasi I personally mm-hmm. take then Pre-workout kasi is loaded with caffeine. You know? mm-hmm. So, depende sa brand, depende sa product, iba-iba yung caffeine content niya. So, mm-hmm. if you are, baka pre-workout yun. Kasi it'll give you a boost of energy right before your workout. Tsaka ah, may extra think. pump yun, ganun. <laughs> so, uh, malakas ako gumamit no nung may corporate job pa ako before. Kasi mm-hmm. syempre, after work, you're tired. Pilit yeah. na lang. So, having extra having extra Easter, no? mm-hmm. energy. Parang coffee mm-hmm. lang siya basically na yeah. enhanced. Ganun. Mm-hmm. So, it really does help. Ayan. It does. Okay. It does. But, yeah, but think... you have to be careful about ano, over consuming kasi pag sumobra ka ng pre-workout pwede kang magka-attack you know like if you yes. drink too much coffee palpitate mm-hmm. yeah, it's bad for the heart also ayan okay and probably this might be our last question for today oh nga no 15 from, minutes pa. yeah from from Mika okay hi Mika hi do you know her yeah we're dating yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, siya pala. Mm, so how siya. often, okay, do you change your workout program po? So oh. Several sources have different views about this. Hi, Mika. Thank you for joining in. Hi, Goodbye Mika. from Virtual Hug Down. Ayan. Ayun. So, hi, Mika. So, you finally met my high school prof. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, ano pa, advanced na rin to. Alam na niya yan eh. <laughs> but the kidding is yeah, for the sake of our viewers, uh, for the sake of how our viewers, often uh, do you change our the workout program? Um, there are two things. Me, ano kasi may mga structured workout program, meaning may mga meso cycle talaga na parang mga three months siyang program na susundan mo talaga down to the T. Mm-hmm. Now that's a lot of commitment. Ah. So, uh, pag ganon, uh, usually mga ganon 
may course talaga yun. You have to run its course, eh. three months or more, ganyan. Um, but for beginners, usually, uh, for beginners, they usually just get the form down muna. Then try to incorporate different movements. Tapos find which works for you. Kasi iba tayo ng body, no? Now, for me, how, when do I change programs? Currently, kasi wala naman akong goal now. Eh. I'm just maintaining. Yeah. So, when you're maintaining, uh, you can do, ikaw bahala sa split. Sa, they call it workout split eh, or program. So, whatever I feel like doing, ginagawa ko lately. As long as I get enough volume or natatrain ko lahat ng body parts ko within a week. Ganun din yan eh. Just like weight loss, di ba? You lose weight on a weekly basis. Yeah. Yung training split mo usually on a weekly basis din yan. Usually, usually. Something like that. Not going into too much detail, no? So, ako personally, uh, when I am, let's say, doing a competition, uh, may structure eh. So, yung mm-hmm. structure na yon from the start of my preparation for the competition till the end, susunod ko yun. Hindi ko papalitan yun whatsoever. And that's the most gains that I personally make no, sa structured na yun. Kasi, iba rin yung structured compared to just going in the gym and just doing what you feel like. Like, ah, okay, oh, see this machine, I'll do this. Sige. Ah, yun, pwede yun, walang gumagamit, ganun. As opposed to going in there with a list, ah, okay, I have to hit this weight, this number of reps, this number of sets. Kung gawin mo yun, grabe. Iba talaga yung, mag-iiba talaga yung itsura mo. So, um, there, yun. Uh, it's hard to make your own program na maganda talaga. So, I recommend getting you know, a program coach for that. Yes. For but it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mika. And I hope to meet you in person and you, Jacob, as well, di ba? Pagka nakauwi ako ng, uh, ng Philippines. Ayan. Yeah, oh my yeah, God. Grabe. Yeah. Tapang sino kwentuhan natin. And I really learned a lot from you, my dear student, Jacob. Okay? So, wow. before we end, can we just have like a final message from you uh, for our viewers? Final tips about really quarantine fitness, di ba? Ganda naman kasi nabi mo kanina. Maybe you can just uh, really uh, re-emphasize those things, di ba? about how to really move during this time of quarantine. Yeah. Sige. So, okay. So, to conclude, no, um, I know it's, this is just like a message na rin like for everyone because I'm personally struggling with, it's tough times, eh. Mm-hmm. So, it takes a toll on you mentally, eh. Everyone's, uh, you know, I may, I may look like I have my life together, no, but, I, I don't. <laughs> and we have no control over it, eh. Lalo na this period, so a lot of us, especially uh, maraming dreams, aspirations, we're on hold because no work that affected la so fitness, everything. And it goes it goes beyond just fitness. Eh. So everyone's affected. So uh, my tip is to just stay strong and do what you can. Just be active. I swear. Mm-hmm. Uh yung, like you mga exercises na binigay ko, do some of those. Try mo lang. I swear it'll make you feel good, better than, um, better than not doing anything. Cause like, no one ever said na oh I regret, I regretted that workout, diba? No one ever says that. Yeah. Like after your workout, you're always you always have this feeling of accomplishment. Huh? So ayun lang, just try to stay strong during these times, cause you know it's tough. So just be the, be, just be tougher than the situation. Ayan. So, sorry, Jacob, but may talagang, ano, may pahabol lang isa. May pahabol lang daw isa. Sir Jacob, pahabol. Mm. I'm currently 63 kilograms, but I do consider myself as skinny fat and also active in workouts kasi I have my basic equipment at home. Is it okay to drop my calories to 1,700 to lose fat? 1,700 to lose fat? So, admittedly, kulang ako ng information to help you, to give you a recommendation, but mm. I'll do my best. So, it I, I have no idea if you're a girl, you're a boy, you, what your height is, no? Um, maram, your activity level, di ko talaga alam eh. So, uh, I'm just gonna give, I'm just gonna give you a general recommendation. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you're 138 pounds. Tapo. So, I, skinny fat, also active in my work, I have my basic to lose fat, yes. So far, yun lang, based on what I know, ha? Yeah, pwede na, one, seven. Try it out for a week. If nothing happens, then... Depends, maraming factors, eh. So, mm-hmm. yes, you can try one, seven, but that can go lower. Depende. 
Okay. It can go higher to go lower. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And ayan, meron lang shout out si Jerome Sarmiento. Okay. Idol ka doon niya. Yeah. Idol Sir ka yan. Bob. Ayan. So, Hi, Jerome. Jerome, he's the gold gym manager sa, ano, sa New Valley. So ah, one, of New the, Valley. one of the best I, people I know. Napaka-genuine. If I'm not mistaken, I think you featured him in one of your vlogs, sama ba? Oh, and then she so in the life. Yeah, si napano. Mika and si yeah. Sir Jerome. <laughs> yeah, napano at yun. Hi, Sir Jerome. Thank you for watching. And hopefully, pag nakauwi ako ng Pilipinas, yung eh, makabisit din ako din sa Gold's Gym sa Novali. Ayan, so, thank so, you. So if everyone's in anyone's in Novali, pag bukas ng gyms, hanapin yun si Sir Jerome. Hindi niyo na yeah. namin miss yun. Yeah. <laughs> Ayan, so thank you, thank you very much, Jacob. Thank you very much for your time. Sobrang sure. nag-enjoy ako, sobrang natuto, natuto ako kasama ang ating mga mga viewers, okay? So, before uh, Jacob, thank you very much. Uh, please don't leave the studio yet, okay? Uh, let's talk a little after after okay. this broadcast. That, I'll just remove you from this screen for a while. So, again, th- mga kapitans, let's say thank you to our guest for today, Mr. Jacob Alava. Ayan, okay. I'll talk to you in a while, Jacob. Okay, maraming maraming salamat po mga kapitans. And if you have time tomorrow, I will be a guest. For the first time, ako naman po ang guest sa Buhay Teacher sa Japan sa Nagmamahal Miss G Facebook page. Okay, ni Miss G. Okay, so if you have not liked the page, please like the page. Miss G, she is my former teacher in, my, uh, 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 former teacher, uh, co- a colleague pala sa Malayan High School of Science. So kung kumikilala kayo na gusto maging teacher dito sa Japan, eh, please tell them about our live tomorrow. Sa Facebook naman po yan. Ayan. So muli maraming maraming salamat po and hopefully marami po kayo natutunan today and if you have questions, feel free to message me and Jacob, subscribe to his channel. And muli maraming maraming salamat po and please stay healthy, stay fit and let's live a healthy lifestyle. And just like what I always say, enjoy life and live life to the max. See you in the next vlog and tonight with Teacher Max. Bye!